Hi, my name is Jackie. Um, I'm a professor here at the Seneca Polytech, and today we're going to walk you through on how to use some of those power supply in the lab. So what we have here is we have an Elegant E3631A power supply and what we want to do is at the very, very beginning when we arrive um, at the workbench, what we want to do is make sure that the power supply is off and, and it's actually a good idea to unplug all the cable that is on there. Okay. The next thing is once everything is set up, uh, unplugged, you want to turn on the power supply and once the power supply turns on, then you will see this output off message on the screen. And now, uh, along with the power supply here, so let's just talk about a bit about the function. Uh, this power supply allows you to output power from 0 to 6 volt, 0 to 25, as well as um, from negative 25 to 0 volt on the um, negative side. Okay. And also have a few other buttons on uh, a few other functions that we can use, but we won't use um, those other more advanced functions. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is, when you arrive at the power supply, is to set the proper output limit that you want. Okay? So depending on your output limit, you will select the mode accordingly. So let's say if you want to do an output of 5 volt, for example, we will choose the positive 6 volt mode. Okay? And then afterward, what we want to do is, we want to go and select the display limit button. And once you do the display limit button, we'll have a bunch of number that shows up. And what we're going to do is, we're going to use those left and right selector as well as this knob to go ahead and select set the limit to 5 volt. Okay, so we can do and the decimal places and you can actually go all the way down to the third decimal place. So now we have it at 5 volt. In terms of current limit wise, if you want to set the current limit, you can go to current, okay? but we can keep it at 5 amp okay? because our circuit will probably not use anywhere more than 5 amp. Okay. Afterward, this display will time out, output off will come back, okay, which is fine. And since we are using the 6 volt output, okay, we're going to put our plug, okay, our banana cable, our banana plug, to the appropriate plug where the output is going to come from. So 6 volt, we'll use the 6 volt output. So we're going to put the red wire there, we're going to put the back wire there. Okay. And then afterward, let's just bring the I'll take the clip over, okay, so that we know which one where the output comes from, and this is the two alligator clip that our six volt is going to come out from. Okay, since we have that plug in, okay, and afterward, once everything is ready, okay, alligator clip, nothing is shorting. Then now you can go ahead and press this output on/off button, and once we press on this, we're going to see a display saying that there is 5.009 volt coming out from the two plug and 0.003M coming out now. I think this is a um, calibration issue because there should be no current coming out, but this is very close to zero. Okay, so that is for a 5 volt output. So now if we want to change this to a 12 volt output, and what we have to do is, first thing, safety first, so let's turn the output off. Okay, and then afterward, what we're going to do is, we're going to change the mode to 25 volt instead of 6 because that is the maximum. We cannot go higher than 6 volt from that function, so we're going to change it to positive 25, and you can see the positive 25 showing up right here. Okay. Afterward, same thing, we'll go display limit, we're going to change it to 12 volt, okay. right there. Okay. Limit will go down to 1 amp, because you cannot go higher than 1 amp for a 12 volt output, and when you use the 0 to 25 volt, one of the things that you lose is the maximum current that can come out from that uh, channel. Okay, next thing is, since we're using the 25 volt setting, we have to change our plug to the 25 volt side. So we're going to remove that and put that in here to the 25 volt output plug. Okay. Once again, make sure that nothing is shorting. Okay. We can go and <coughs> turn the output on, and now the potential difference between the red and the black alligator clip is 12 volt. Okay, we'll show you how to use this, how this is gonna apply on the breadboard in another video, but that is how you use the Allergen um, E3631A power supply. So let me turn this off. Okay. And once everything is done, unplug it, power off, and that is all. 
So thank you for watching and join us in another video to uh, use some of the other equipment here we have in the lab. Thank you.